month, we will look at tech and gadgets that give you the most bang for your buck. We're going to tell you what to buy and what to avoid this holiday season. And Gadget Prawn this week, we're going to review items that are under $100. Mm -hmm. uh, and that doesn't mean they're crap, that just means they're cheap. Starting with LG's new cell phone, the Chocolate 3. LG continues to make the cell phone world a sweeter place with their new Chocolate 3. This candy bar phone sports a new flip style and two attractive displays. One gig of internal memory lets you load it with your favorite music, and a scroll wheel on the front keeps your music and photos only a click away. Satisfy your sweet tooth for only $99 with a contract. All right, so check this one out earlier, and it differs from the first two chocolates because the clamshell thing, right? So does yeah. that make it better? Because I remember we were so excited about, oh, look, oh. it slides. I'm a clamshell, not a slider. Oh, the phone is doesn't that, actually talk. Well, um, wait, is that better or is it an improvement? It's a major one, actually. The first two chocolates had touch-sensitive controls on the front, which for many were hit or miss. Yeah. It, it, they replaced that now. They've just got a click wheel that's easier to use. It's iPod-esque. People get it. They know, oh, I want to scroll? Great. I'll use my thumb. Mm -hmm. That's why God gave it to me. <laughs> um, it also has two displays uh, rather than one. Uh, and they're both gorgeous. On the downside, though, now it looks like every other phone. Yeah. Hello, design from 1997. Goodbye. But wouldn't you, know. you rather it look like every other phone and work? The yeah, way you no, want it absolutely, to work? absolutely. But so now you don't have that signature. Well, they took it away because like, oh, we couldn't master this, so right. we'll just. So let's go to do... what works. Okay, so now this one is supposed to be a dedicated music phone with a scroll wheel and the mm -hmm. built-in FM transmitter. So is it deliver? Is it they... does deliver. Yeah, we think it totally does. The music player works similar to an iPod. It's easy to use. You can do things like uh, like automatically skip to different letters of the music index, as mm -hmm. you can see here, which is nice for quickly scrolling through large, are those your hands? large libraries of music. No, those are not. Those are much more masculine hands. <laughs> Actually, those are petite. Those are petite thumbs. Those are Bruce's. Um, <laughs> the FM transmitter, uh, the signal is not all that strong, but it is quick and simple, which means if you're in a friend's car or even your car, you want to broadcast your tunes to the radio, built-in transmitter, select nice. a station, and there you go. Uh, the speaker is really loud. I can let me try and fire up. Let me unlock this bad boy and fire up the song here. Um, so the speaker is good and loud. There's a dedicated music button on the side that can jump you right to a single track or to your entire library. Let me uh, go to resume. Hey, we're live on TV. Oh, I, I, you have to hear this though. This is an integral really part long of time. the demo. Here's resume. Yeah. See, that's. That was worth it. How long did that take? <laughs> that was worth the far too long seconds. Um, but there you go. So you can play things really quick. The moment you want to hear music, it's that there. there. The problem with the speaker, though, can you hear it? No, it's not that it's too catchy. It's that the lows and the mids don't come through clear at all. So your saxophone, fantastic. Yeah. Anything else? Not so much. Holidays, um, huh? Woo! We also wish there, there, there were more equalizer presets and a custom EQ. The fact that you can't customize your own EQ okay. is, is really sad. One gig of internal storage plus up to eight gigs on the micro SD for a whopping total of, good skills, nine. Nine gigs. And a 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack on the side so you can use standard earbuds with it, which is nice. I was waiting for you to stop talking. Good. I'm done. Okay, cool. Um, so... <laughs> Stop playing! I'm okay. trying to stop it. I want to stop dancing if you don't. If you keep okay, there you okay. go. Okay, so the question is: Is it a solid phone? Got the, yes. the camera. Yes, definitely that's a solid phone. Good. Speaker phone is loud. Uh, sounds kind of hollow, just like you heard there. Two megapixel camera actually has better photos than we expected. Uh, no flash though, and you can download tracks over Vcast using Rhapsody. It also supports WMA, MP3, and AAC plus. So overall, pretty solid music player, and, uh, especially for But 99 bucks with the contract. Is it worth it? Here's the problem: Not quite. And, and, and don't, don't get this wrong, we actually love the phone, it's a solid phone, but you can get a far more feature-rich phone like the BlackBerry for the same price. So oh, it's I an excellent music phone, but it needs to be like 50 bucks with a contract or free. Like, Freeze. if I'm signing up for two years, toss in a chocolate three, and you got yourself a so Johnny Hancock rating? on the X. Rating? 83% B minus. Uh, again, it's a really, really great device, but if you want to give a phone this year, go with the BlackBerry 8830. It's less than 100 bucks, and that's also with a contract on Verizon. All right, well, that's it for GadgetPod, and remember, for even more of the latest news on computers and tech, check out g4tv.com slash the feed.